Hello Electroheads, this is the Ducati Scrambler Cross E, but it is not the Scrambler you may already know. Oh no, Ducati now make electric scooters. They dominated the 20th century with their motorcycles and a century on, electric scooters are now a hot new thing on the market and Ducati, they want in. It's a bold move using such an iconic name and branding on an electric scooter, but does it live up to the hype? Does it live up to the name? We're gonna find out. I mean, looks wise, it definitely ticks that box, but let's take a closer look at spec. The frame is made of high strength alloy steel and it mounts a super wide platform with a wave effect design to give a very distinctive look and feel. A smart addition is that the platform can be released from the frame to remove the battery. This is crucial for flexibility with charging, especially for a heavier ride. This scooter weighs in at 27 kilograms, so it's in the heavyweight category. Inside, you've got a 500 watt motor, double the size of a legal e-bike in the UK, which can deliver three power modes, with the max getting you a speed of up to 25 kilometers an hour. Removable battery is 375 watt hours, which equates to a range claim of 40 kilometers, depending on terrain, speed, rider right weight, etc. Max rider right weight for this one is 120 kilograms and is equipped with front and rear disc brakes, plus tubeless 11.5 inch tires to help keep punctures at bay. All of this for the grand price of £899. How does this all equate to the ride itself? Well, I took this bad boy out to a top secret airfield to give it a test ride. Let's go take a closer look. I'm absolutely in love with the look of this electric scooter. I mean, it is such an eye catcher, isn't it? I wish I could cruise around town on this thing. It's a big, beastie boy and I just love the design here of standing on the sort of the wavy platform it just means that my front foot can rest really comfortably in front and this back foot that I like to put this way to make sure I can just handle my corners nice and easily can just rest up on it quite nicely in this, on this little divot so in terms of the actual power and speed itself it's pretty talky it's like got a really good like push to it as you try and accelerate but I'm trying to get it past 15 at the moment and it seems to do this thing where it will kind of like lock off at a certain speed and then you've got to let go of the throttle push down again and it'll accelerate again with you so it's kind of like you've got to sort of break through the barrier of 15 kilometers an hour and then up to 25 so it's quite nice it just lets you go up to the 15th and then if you feel comfortable you can actually make that conscious decision to push it through to 25. What I'm talking about here is the three rider modes available. So first up, you have Eco that delivers up to six kilometers an hour. Second up gets you to 20 kilometers an hour. And finally, the sport mode gives you the top speed of 25 kilometers an hour. Right, John, speaking of which, I'm actually gonna do a top speed test. Should we do this? Right, full speed ahead! Woo! Okay, 25. 25. 25. And it's just beeped at me, which means it's gone into cruise control. So I've actually taken my thumb off and you see, and it's still powering away. I don't think Cole can quite keep up with me, can you? Yeah, you can. 26! We've got 26. Oh, Cole's off. Bye. <laughs> yeah, 26. And I think I probably hit 26 because I'm not the max rider weight, which is 100 kilograms. Last time I checked, I think I'm about like 63 kg or something. So that means that it could probably push through just a little bit more than what it states on the web specs. A big bonus to this scooter is that you're quite high up as well. I feel like I can just oversee the land and I can see way out in front of me. I feel like everybody can see me as well. I think there's a big complaint about how people on electric scooters, you can't see them. Well, I mean, firstly, the rider, I'm all up here. I don't know how you're gonna miss me. Just see how huge this is. I try and like get this going and it's like I'm doing a full step up. Like that's some serious glute activation going on there. So if anybody needs like a little step up for their gymming, scrambler, very expensive step up, but you can do it. And also just the color and the design of this, you are not gonna miss it on the road. The yellow is a really, really good safety feature because at night that is gonna pop. Obviously the black is the opposite, but that yellow really does make up for the fact that there is the sort of the black tires and the black stem 
Rider visibility is crucial when we're out on the roads. So scooters like this are a good example of how we can utilize vibrant, eye-catching designs to keep you visible and safe. Okay, granted, the design may seem a touch excessive to some of you, but there's a lot of reasons why this ticks so many of our boxes for safety. The visibility of the yellow is, of course, a big one, but also bigger wheels means better stability and a much better probability that you'll clear a pothole. They can also soak up a lot more of the vibrations that travel up the stem for a more comfortable ride. Double brakes front and rear give you the best chance possible should you need to make a hard stop. And of course, integrated lights keep you visible both night and day. There's a lot of ticks here, people. In terms of actual maneuvering, this is a heavy, big, clunky thing. But look, I mean, I can and go around on that super, super easy. Having chunky tires really helps with feeling stable and gripped onto the tarmac. These 11.5 inch wheels give me the assurance I need to take some tighter turns without feeling like I'm gonna skid or lose balance. They're on the larger scale of an e-scooter wheel size, which as you can see, for a scooter of this caliber, a bigger tire is definitely needed. A big bonus for somebody like me who isn't as well versed in changing a scooter wheel, the Scrambler has tubeless tires. This means they're more heavy duty and puncture resistant. Big tick. For anybody who's like really into e-rides, right? You unlock this thing, or I find anyway, which is like quite meditative. Do you guys find that as well? Let me know down in the comments. I find when you're just like out on the open road and you're not on an e-ride, you just get to like reflect a little bit and you go into your zone. People get that when they're running or people like meditate as well. It's that same kind of thing. You go into this like sweet spot in your head where your mind is cleared. You don't think of anything. And this is, <laughs> this is generally what I'm getting right now. And I'm, I'm probably just talking rubbish at the moment. Tell me to shut up if I am. But there's something very peaceful and so enjoyable about just doing some carving. Let's not beat around the bush. I'm not a motorcycle expert, but of course we all know the Ducati brand and the styling, and we've all heard of the Scrambler, the elite motocross, the motor... Oh, that was a huge, that was a huge bump. Cold on a very, very lightweight skateboard right now. I don't know how you just managed that in your tiny little truck. But yeah, we all know the Scrambler. You can really see that they really tried to emulate that kind of motocross design in this electric scooter. They really have turned this into a really, I think, iconic looking scooter. I think it's fantastic. I'm genuinely in love with the design. It's very rugged. It's very, I, I want to go off road. I want to take on the world. And uh, these huge, huge wheels, 11.5 in diameter, means that these can conquer so much crazy terrain, just like the OG Scrambler can. My one gripe with this chonker is the chonk. It weighs in at 27 kilograms. Unfortunately for someone like me who lives up three flights of stairs with no lift, this is not an e-scooter I'd be able to take home. So keep that in mind if you're keen to purchase. Speaking of which, you'll already know by now that I am a very big fan of the Ducati Scrambler e-scooter edition. So much so that myself and the team here at Electroheads had to get this on our very own marketplace, on our online store, electroheads.com. So if you want to cop yourself one of these, then make sure to head on over to the website and check it out. The link is going to be in the description below. So head on over. And there you have it, my experience riding the Ducati Scrambler cross E. Let's be real, this is a lot of fun to ride. It looks fantastic. Probably one of my most favorite electric scooters in terms of looks. But if you've got some steps to conquer, well, you might want to watch out because this boy is heavy. But what do you guys think at home? I would love to hear your thoughts. Is it all look, no substance? I don't agree, but if that's the case, let me know down below. Do you love this? Would you would you want to have one of these yourselves? Let me know. And let's all talk about how e-scooters need to be legalized very soon in the UK because it's uh... It's about time! All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.